you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited to be filming this video because it's going to be a different kind of video. As you may have guessed by the title, since I have already introduced my husband onto my channel, I figured it's time for my little fur baby to be introduced as well onto my channel. I figured I would do so by doing the best furry friend tag, and here is my best furry friend! He's a little bit scared. He's a bit of a scaredy cat by nature, but we will get through this, right baby? get through this. If you guys want to get to know this little guy a little better, then keep on watching. Alright, I have the questions on my phone right here. There looks to be 10 questions and I will answer all of them. Question number one. What is your pet's name? His name is Tibbers. T-I-B-B-E-R-S. That's right. What kind of pet is it and what breed? This guy is a Boston Terrier. He's a doggy, and he is so very, very cute. He's falling asleep. This is like his off button. Like if I hold him like this, he will just fall asleep. So yeah, one, one funny thing about this guy. So next question is how long have you had your pet friend? Friend, <laughs> my southern twang is coming out. <laughs> I've had this little guy for, it'll be, it'll be two years in December, so that's how long I've had him. How did you get your pet friend? Well, I got Tibbers with my husband. We weren't yet married, we were engaged, and I just really, really wanted a dog out of college. Um, it might not have been the best decision, but I don't regret it one bit. I love this guy to death. And I basically was looking for a French Bulldog initially, but what deterred me from getting them was that they have myriads of, you know, health issues and they're very expensive. So I was kind of watching different documentaries about dogs and I found Boston Terriers. They have like very similar look to French Bulldogs, but they're much healthier and their personalities are more vibrant and very energetic. So... Yeah, I was really looking to get a Boston Terrier from that point on, and my husband ended up finding a breeder on eBay Classified that was selling like a litter of Boston Terrier puppies, and that's how we got him. Next question is how old is your pet? And this little guy will be two years old in September, so it's coming up. And he still acts like a puppy and looks like a puppy. <laughs> you guys see him like falling asleep? <laughs> Dipper, wake up. We're filming. Dipper. <laughs> All right, we'll just let him snooze or something. Next question is, what is your favorite memory with your pet? I have so many, but one memory that really sticks out is um, when we first got him, I was still unemployed out of college. I was unemployed for around, I want to say like three months. And during that time, I was able to spend like one-on-one -on -one time with this little guy, just spend every single day with him, give him my undivided attention and when I just look back to those moments, I just feel so happy and it was a really simple and good, happy time of my life. So yeah, that's one of my favorite memories with this little guy. Next question is what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? One of the things is that if you hold him like this, <laughs> it's his off switch. So he'll like fall asleep no matter how hyper he is. If you hold him like this, he'll just be calm. And it's so strange and he just falls asleep like this. And we just discovered this as soon as we met him. I held him like this and he just would not move. And I thought that was the funniest thing ever. So I think that's what really drew me to him. It's like that was so quirky and weird. He also doesn't like it when I dance, uh, when I just, you know, get my groove on. He starts barking and sounds very angry. Like my dance moves must really upset him or something. Next question is, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Boy, I don't know. Ever since I was little, I loved animals and especially dogs. I just felt like a special connection with dogs. 
And having a relationship with my dog means that I have a companion that's forever loyal, you know, besides my husband, a companion that understands you without you even having to say anything to them, Um, a companion that is always happy and eager to please and always, always, always wants to snuggle. So yeah, I think that's what it means to have a doggy companion. They are just so very, very sweet. They're very smart, very sharp. So yeah. Question number nine. What are your favorite pastimes with your pet? That's so easy. It's just snuggling. I love, 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 love snuggling with this guy. Otherwise, in terms of activity, I really like to take him on, you know, walks in the dog park where he gets to run around. I just love seeing him freely running around to full speed. So that's one of my favorite pastimes with this little guy. He's falling asleep. And 10th and final question, what are some nicknames you call your pet? There's so many and he actually recognizes like all of them as his nickname. I will call him Puppy, of course. I call him Puppy Bear. I call him Tibby Bear, Tipster, Tibby. Um, what else do I call him? I call him Baby. I call him Tibby Boo Boo. <laughs> There's so many nicknames I call this guy. I call him Poochie Pooch, and I used to call him Poo Poo for, you know, Poochie Pooch, but that kind of got confusing with his going number two (laughs) and his nicknames, so I stopped calling him that. All right, guys, that's it for all of the questions in the best fur friend tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and meeting little Tippers. He's pretty much slept through the whole video.